two distinguished designers show the essence of status and time in this joint exhibition of their recent works. The idea is to give design a louder voice so it can take pride and place in the creative, as sometimes it's not the word on everyone's lips when art is mentioned in Nigeria. One of the pieces that I've done in the past is I designed a tableware collection mixing um, calabash pieces with um, porcelain ceramics um, and that's a tableware collection of a, lamp, uh, a um, cake stand, a fruit, fruit bowl and also cup and saucer. Um, so that's one of the projects which I've used to mixing a Western aesthetic with an African aesthetic. Um, and then something else that I'm commonly known for are my copper lampshades that I've designed. Um, and those were commissioned by the Design Museum in London. And um, I used very uh, geometric patterns in the, in the copper. Um, and those were inspired by the geometric patterns that you find in Ankara fabric. These artists bring their best foot forward by bringing up works that stand for something, urging the audience not to waste any time in the pursuit of greatness because it waits for no man. A collection of intricate war clocks with thought-provoking quotes on the theme of time and change as a constant reminder to her audience. So what I've done is I've taken quotes um, that are strong, some from Nelson Mandela, um, some from Buhari, uh, I've got a quote from William Shakespeare, and then use those quotes to inspire the design of a clock. I've designed 22 clocks, um, and the theme of them is time. Um, I have decided to focus on the clocks, so that we, it's something that we don't just look at as a practical piece that we use to tell the time but also something that can make us think about the time and the way that we're using our time. As for Yinka Ilori, the inspiration was how Nigerians reacted to the reduction in oil price by the present administration and this is how he sees it. Clustered palm oil kegs represent the voice of the nation and emphasize the need for everyone to set aside cultural differences and work together to encourage socio-economic development. My piece is called Untitled and it's basically inspired from the oil, the oil inflation based on these oil kegs you can see on the side here. Um, so basically I've sourced about 31 oil kegs and based around from different people from different states and lives to different, either they're poor or they're rich or they're successful. So I wanted to have this as a collective and it was about looking at people with different narratives, different backgrounds and trying to tell their story through a table. Each of Falawiyo's clocks is individually designed with its own unique name and quote. These design references are taken from Nigerian influences and a minimal design style. I work with all different colours. Um, what I've done on this um, particular project is used um, some Ankara fabric that I've specifically chosen to match the quotes. Different colours, multicoloured, and uh, I've worked with those in relation to the concept of each quote. Both artists are based in London, but they show that East or West, home is best, and it has provided them with a rich source of discussion, which can be seen in the works of art. Um, my favorite color is, that's a good question, is, is green, actually, green. Um, not because it's a no green, white, green, my German flag, but I love I the color green. All of the work that I do is always inspired by uh, my Nigerian heritage in some way. I do have a very clean aesthetic um, because I started my product design um, career in Italy. So I've really been schooled in you know, the very clean, modern um, style, classic Italian style design. But everything that I do design is inspired by Nigeria or some aspect of um, Nigerian artistry or um, culture. Yinka Ilori, inspired by the traditional Nigerian parables and African fabrics that surrounded him as a child. He's interested in exploring the relationship between function and form 
and his work sits between traditional divisions of art and design, bringing Nigerian verbal traditions into playful conversation with contemporary design. People would take chairs and objects for granted, you know, and I think all these objects carry really powerful meanings. So these old, these old cakes are from different people, you know, and from different backgrounds and different narratives. So I wanted to try and use this narrative and make a table and try and tell a narrative through these pieces of, of work and create some furniture from them. And it's that moment of reflection where you think about how you have spent the time um, for this year. And I think that uh, it's really just the concept of thinking about the way that we spend our time is what has inspired me to design a collection of clocks um, and use quotes that could make you think about the time that you're using. While Falawio focuses using ceramic, glass or metal to interpret Nigerian themes and has a key interest in tinkering with traditional techniques. Thank you.